this is Chad Payne with Lens Software. In this video I'm going to talk about drawing micro composite profiles on daily charts or on charts that are set to a daily periodicity. So first let's talk about the daily periodicity. There's daily and then, then there's time per bar one day. And let me talk about the difference. Let me just go into the to the periodicity settings here and you'll see this one's set to daily and that's this button here. There's also a time per bar one day. Now the difference is this daily is the actual daily bars that are transmitted uh, with the daily open high low and close and volume from the data feed. There's just one open high low and close and volume per day and those uh, those represent the Globex session, the full session. This uh, time per bar one day actually builds the daily bars from intraday data and by doing it that way there's there's a few advantages first of all it can the, the bars can reflect the session so these can be day session only bars or full session bars so it'll reflect the session that you have the chart set to but in addition as we look to draw com micro composite profiles or custom profiles on this chart they work properly because they have that intraday data within the bars to build on so it's important if you're going to be adding the profile indicator to these daily charts that is set to time per bar one day. I want to close this without changing the periodicity. Let me show you a little trick. You can simply hit the asterisk key, uh, shift 8, and it will change. And you'll see when it changes, it changes to 1D and star. So that means you're on the time per bar one day, which, which will properly reflect the session and allow you to uh, you draw micro composites properly on the chart. So that's, that's important first step. So you, you'll see that these bars kind of shrunk vertically as they as they change to reflect the day session. If I had the, the, the asterisk key again it goes back to the full um, daily bars, uh, the full session bars, and if I had asterisk again it comes back to the day session only. Now I could change this to session 31 and now my uh, my um, time per bar one day periodicity is reflecting session 31 then I can change it back to 2 so it'll, it'll reflect whatever session I have the chart set to. Alright now let's draw a profile. Let's um, use our profile drawing tool over here. I'm going to click on that and just drag it around maybe these five bars here. You'll want to start within the first bar that you want to profile and end within the, the last bar. So somewhere inside of it and you'll get all five bars. Okay. So it created a profile. Now I'm going to do some adjusting to this. First of all, uh, one thing this user was having a problem with, his default settings were time. Okay, and that's not going to look right. You're going to get this, this kind of uh, profile. You want to, we want to do a volume profile, change that to volume. I'm also going to uncheck the width. By, by checking a width of 100, is forcing uh, the profile itself to be 100 pixels wide. I'm going to uncheck that and it'll just use the space available and I'm going to turn off my nodes. I'll even turn off uh, the current point of control and valuary for this purpose and I'll also turn off the info box. Just simplify it. So now I can and drag it around whatever group of bars I wish and it's going to retain those preferences. I've Maybe let's change this to blue. You can change it to your favorite color, whatever color you wish and whatever style you want down here. So set it up the way you want and then you can either uh, there's a couple options you have here uh, and I'll go ahead and bring it to the front. Let me right click on the on the dotted rectangle around it and choose bring to front and it'll put it put the profile itself in front of the bars and by drawing it as a hologram it doesn't take up too much ink on the screen so you can bring it to front and still see the bars behind it. You can make this small a uh, little smaller width if you wish. So now if you want to retain these preferences, you have a couple of options. You can go down here to the bottom of the preferences and choose preset make default. And when I do that, next time I use my profile drawing tool, it's going to default to those same settings. So they're going to be retained. After you drop it down, if you want to bring it to front, you have to right click on it and bring to front. Now another option, let's just change this. Let's say you like red better. So let's change it to red and you like these settings you want to retain them so you right click and choose add profile button and I always like to move that to um, to a new, a new pane so I do move put button to new pane and now if I use this button it'll draw the red profile 
wherever I drop it. And I could change the color of this button to red. And then I could also make a, a blue a blue button. And I could change this. I can change the title. I could call it Blue Profile. And I can change the color to a light blue. If you, if you see a color you like here, just click on it here. Then you click over here to make it lighter or darker. So I can make a light version of that blue so that the uh, black text shows up pretty well. So now I've got the blue button and I've got the red button. So you can have as many buttons as you want that may have different combinations of preferences for the profile indicator. Some of them may have an info box, some of them may have uh, high and low volume nodes, uh, different colors, different uh, value areas and point of controls. So I hope that was helpful. Again, you have to make sure if you're doing this on a daily chart that you're set to time per bar one day. Okay, use the asterisk key if you want to just toggle from daily over to that periodicity. Uh, set it to the, the, the session you wish. And then we showed you how to set up the, uh, the proper uh, volume profile settings within the profile indicator. Change the colors and add buttons. And then you can um, quickly drop down profiles, micro composite profiles with your preferred settings. If you have any questions on this video, please email support at lensoft.com.